hello guys welcome back to my channel I went into the Uda Beauty palette and took the sharp pink color there into my crease as you can see I'm just trying to put the color nicely on my crease yeah yeah Yeah, so I didn't like the look of the shy pink color. It was too, the pink was too light for what I wanted to go for. So I digged into the main after and flamingo color there and I had a dose still in the Uda Beauty palette. Yeah, so I just had a dose color. So the pink could show more. Yeah, I just. I'm showing you the colors now main after flamingo and chai color yeah I went into the Jacqueline Eel palette with Morphe and took the deep purple color there I added it with the pink I did earlier but not going all in with it I'm just putting it um, at the outer corner you know the outer part of the crease to deepen the color This was a struggle guys i struggled all through this video making this video wasn't easy at all because it's not something i'm used to <laughs> so i was struggling all through this video guys but you know we made it yeah i'm just i took a clean brush and i blended the pink with the purple and i just added a little more purple now to deepen it more yeah and I took the Tara eyeshadow primer to call my crease and as you can see this was also a struggle guys this was a struggle I just made a mess everywhere it was it was a struggle <laughs> oh my god I didn't know I was going to be doing a voiceover so and some part of the video you could see me talk I thought I wasn't going to make I thought I was going to make a you know I thought I thought I was going to be talking as I was making the video I went into my subculture Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette and took the cute color there it's a white color so I'm just patting it on the crease we cut to make it stay I went back into the Jacqueline Hill palette we used earlier and took the purple again to the outer V part of my eyes so you won't see where the crease I cut ends do you get I'm using it to blend the, the cut crease and the outer V color together I also took the main after and flamingo color again and I put those in the middle lead to further create a nice blend and I did seem to the other eye basically that's what I'm doing here right now yeah yeah I packed some of the main after color into my lower lash line that's just the it's just part of the look so I took my white big pencil and I used that in my waterline area we're not using black pencil today guys no <laughs> and I flopped there too as you can see I cleaned it out after and I reduced the whiteness I went into the Missia old blush and eyeshadow palette and I took the pink blush and put it across my face basically my cheekbones my nose to my other cheekbone you know it wasn't as dark as I wanted it but I fixed that later as well I went into my Tara face primer and now this is where the struggle begins I'm creating the cloud now I I, I, I basically don't even know what I'm doing here I, I really don't know what I'm doing here but I'm making the cloud now and you don't have to perfect I'm not perfect I don't even like I said I don't even know what I'm doing but as long as you're not making a straight line 
you know just make the clouds just what I'm doing here I'm just creating like a landscape thing and I'm filling them in after with the white pencil I'm actually using my Tara yes right now I took the flamingo and chai color again and I used those under the cloud we created just to make it a bit pronounced and to give it a pinkish cloud effect. I used the cotton board for this because it was just easier to use. It was much easier to use. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just filling it in and putting it under the clouds just to make it more pronounced or to make it sit well. To make the cloud come out more, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm still feeling. Um, I went into the, um, I went into the Jacqueline Hill palette and I took the purple color there. That deep purple we used earlier that night and it was too dark and I didn't like it. So I went to the Ace Beauty palette and I took the um, the rosewood color and I'm putting it under. Was it took the white pencil we used earlier and I'm putting it at the top of the cloud we made just to make it more pronounced as well that's why we're doing this right now but the pencil was too big for me to handle there so I decided to go uh, to use my tweezer and that's what I used later you guys will see that now in a bit I took that and I dipped it into the pencil yes and I dipped it into the white pencil and I used that to fill in the upper part of the cloud we made and that that was easier than the pencil I used earlier it was easier it was very tiny so it, it was easier to use and I'm just filling in the top of the cloud here. I'm just filling it in so it will show more. Yep, yep, yeah. Okay. So I'm putting a purple color in the middle of the cloud I created. It's just to make it, you know, just to bring out the effect more. I was just trying everything I could, basically. It wasn't like I really I knew what I was doing like that. I was just playing and trying things. 
that's what I'm doing here I didn't let it touch the white we put at the upper part uh, yeah that's what I put too much yeah that's just that's yeah I'm making stars here or whatever <laughs> I'll call the stars I mean <laughs> I made stars in between the clouds <laughs> I don't know I was just trying to fill that those, those uh, empty spaces up so it won't look scanty you know I was just playing like I said earlier so I'm making dot 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 on my face to fill those spaces up and yeah it's still the white pencil I, I used for this part as well I went into the Yahoo Miss Yahoo uh, palette and I used um, some of my I used a pink color a, a more deep pink color than we used earlier for the face and I'm blending it out blend 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 yeah I'm making I'm eyelining my eyes down with an eyeliner because we're going to be wearing lashes with this look that's just what I'm doing here I'm going on my lips now. I'm putting on lip gloss and I'm putting, I'm adding uh, a, a pink lipstick to the lip gloss just a little bit. And after that, I'll be bronzing my face. Yeah. I've had this bronzer for quite a while now, like four or five years, and it's still full. <laughs> So I'm just putting that on my nose, my cupid's bow, my brow bone, my uh, my cheekbone, but I didn't go all the way in. So yeah, that's what I did last and this is where I'll be ending this video guys. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. And kindly make sure to subscribe to my channel, like my videos comment so I can know what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong and kindly share my videos thank you bye